Have you ever imagined as an architect being able to do a simple sketch of the project you are working on and being able from this sketch to generate a render in a matter of minutes? This is now possible with a platform named Lookix. So we are going to talk about Lookix, this new AI powered platform made by architects that allow to take a hand drawing and to make a final render in a matter of minutes. If you are interested about the topic of AI in the field of architecture and construction, please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to release much more video about the topic, and I think it's very important to be aware of what is going on because AI is revolutionizing many fields, but especially the field of architecture and construction. So, so when you arrived in, uh, in Lookix, you have a list of uh, many models you can inspire from. Uh, so for example, uh, this one. Uh, you have uh, you have other example like this one. It's a bit more realistic. So it's like uh, the beachfront building is inspired by the growth of seashell, uh, featuring a parametric facade and wavy organic element. So it uses the helix uh, model. It has this image as a reference image. So you see that the image and the rendering is very, very close together. And after probably it has a, it has an image of, uh, so base image. No, this is a reference image. Okay. Reference image. And after, uh, when you like something, you could add it to your favorites. Uh, you could uh, like it as well. You could share it, so it's like a bit a social network of uh, of uh, render image. And here, yeah, you have a very interesting uh, feature that allow to uh, to comparing to compare the base image and the render. So you see here, it's really impressing. Uh, with a simple uh, image like this, you could achieve uh, something like that. So this is the Creation Plaza, and from the image uh, that you see that you like, you could uh, click and generate the same. So here we pass to a second mode, which is the creation mode. So now we are going to, to understand why, how we can create a new image, a new render. render. So we have two modes. Uh, first, we have the render mode and the explore mode. So the render mode goal is to uh, render an existing image. So here we have a base image, for example, that we can use as a reference. So our project is like, like that. And uh, about which style we should apply, we could give another image that gives the style. So this uh, this example was taken from uh, one user who shared uh, this uh, this uh, render. And here we define uh, we give some clue to the to the AI uh, to uh, exactly what we represent. So we mostly represent interior select scene. So it's an interior uh, detail model. Okay, with furniture, uh, we are we have uh, our input image type is an unsketch and it's an unsketch like that conceptual. Uh, after we have some prompts, so here we say okay, it's a render of a building with a landscape unrealistic, but we can add some stuff like uh, uh, with a person in um, uh, on the bed. And one on the balcony. Balcony. Okay, and then uh, we have, uh, yeah, we have the more setting, which allow to define how many image variation we want. Uh, here we have a credit uh, count, so it means that for each creation we will spend one count of our free credit. I think uh, we have uh, something like. Uh, 100 credit at start, but I'm not sure. And you can, of course, uh, buy some uh, more credit uh, if you really use uh, software uh, uh, LookX uh, more frequently. So that's it. We just have to click on Start Creation. And now uh, we are going to, uh, when we click on Start Creation, there is a new record that show on the generated record list. So we can uh, exit this page, we can go back later, no problem. Sometimes it takes a bit of time, it could take one minute, two minutes, not so much like that, but uh, you could even accelerate if you want by uh, taking the premium plan. Okay, so now the render is okay. So 
it's nice, but uh, it's not exactly the same as before. And uh, I think my prompt of uh, putting some person on the bed finally don't work. So I don't know exactly why, but uh, there is uh, probably some iteration uh, to exactly have the, the good result. But after I click on uh, I click on the edit button, and you have another another feature uh, which is kind of uh, great, uh, which allow to modify punctually some element of the image. For example, if I want uh, I want a wall which is red, for example, here. So I define a zone of the image I want to modify. So a bit like Photoshop, uh, if you know Adobe uh, Firefly, it's a bit the same concept. Uh, so can you, the wall is painted in red. So here we have two screens. So the the right screen will update with the with the new render, uh, taking into account my my uh, prompt. So the rendering is done. So here we have selected the wall and we wanted it to be red. So here you see that this is red. Of course, you could have done it in Photoshop and maybe it would have a better result. Uh, but uh, of course, you could add some more complex uh, instruction. You could ask, uh, okay, but uh, add me uh, a personage here, add me uh, another landscape. Uh, you can change stuff. Okay, so it's. I think it's a useful feature uh, that you could uh, use in Lokix. So now we can talk about the second mode, which is Explore mode. So the, the goal of Explore mode is to generate some ideas. So not uh, to be very precise, but mostly to, uh, to generate some idea of project. But here we can still have a reference images. So here I have a reference images of a tower. Uh, and, but I, I, I try different example and you can see that the result is quite different depending on the prompt. So here, for example, I have a tower uh, which is very big, but uh, in the prompt, I say house near the beach. So it means that for him, he reinterpreted the shape as a tower inside a small house in the beach. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if you look at another example, so here, I, uh, with the prompt, I say, okay, but now it's no more a house in the beach. It's a spatial port in a futuristic city. So uh, the image is totally different. The size, the perceived size of the building is totally different as well. Now we can play with uh, explore mode, but without reference images. So I will uh, take profit of using the dictionary of uh, prompt uh, element. So let, let's let's say that I will play with that. So I want something of the style of Gaudi. Uh, curve shape, why not? I want uh, I want uh, street and I want uh, an office building skyscraper. So I want an office building in the style of Gaudi, uh, which is curve in a street and uh, with a, a weather uh, cloudy. Uh, but I don't put any reference images, so I will see what it looks like. So the result is uh, that one. So Candy, uh, Gaudi, Curves, Shape, Street, Office Building. So it looks like uh, the Barcelona Tower, I think. <laughs> it's not bad, uh, but you see there was no, uh, no reference image. So it means that you could really use the same usage as in DALI. Uh, in uh, Lookix as well, uh, just using a prompt, but uh, having the possibility to uh, to be uh, again more precise. So Lookix is quite complex. There is many possibilities, and I I didn't uh, showed everything. Uh, especially you could uh, you could create your own model training. So you, if you have always the same type of image, you could try to uh, to train the model on uh, with your images. You have more control on the final image, so probably it's more adapted to the role of an architect. After, is it easier than having a three D model and render it uh, with the classic way? 
maybe not because you you don't always uh, have the results that you want this is uh, this could be a problem but uh, it is uh, evolving very fast and the 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 good thing with this ai tool is that you could generate image very uh, quickly you could uh, get ideas that way uh, you could uh, try some possibilities without spending uh, hours or, or weeks so we are going to talk uh, about other ai tool in the next video if you are interested in the subject please subscribe to this channel it's very important for us uh, so that we can produce more content of this type thank you very much and see you soon in the next video bye bye